So, if you are trying to go low and you have a 2006 Hyundai Tiburon and you're running 225, 45, or 17, uh, you're gonna, if you go low a certain point, I'm not even like all the way low, but like, I don't know, like ABS sensor, it, it rubs a lot and my tires pretty brand new, so. Whenever you get brand new tires, you start to rub and hit your ABS wheel speed sensor, so yeah, it becomes a problem. I, this is my second or third one I bought, and I got tired of that shit. So, you see what I got here. So, what I'm doing now is I got the new ABS speed sensor right here. Uh, the OEM one is always gonna be the brand, is, I think, Mondo. Right there. Well, it's gonna be called Mondo or whatever. And then, uh, it does, this one's better than the OEM one, but so right now, <coughs> I just drilled this hole right here. Now, let me see. Let me see what this. Big old thing. I don't even know what size this is to be honest, but it's pretty big. And then I got a small one to uh, make the hole a little bit bigger. Uh, I just made a hole right here. If you go look at your tip, I don't know. There, I just put a hole over here for uh, it can sit higher because it sits over here and it, it kind of rubs as you can tell right here. So I, I mounted it up over here higher made a hole right here with the drill and then this I might just put a hole like right here for like an angle up like sideways like that and then this is gonna go to this hole and then up top from over here around here this area and then just stay on top of there and then connect to the ABS sensor and then I should be good to be honest so let's see how this goes so right now I'm just trying to make the hole bigger for this to fit in this hole and it's not big enough, I don't know how, but speed sensor not working. This is the speed sensor down right over here, that little guy, and then it all connects here, blah blah blah, and it goes up here and then and then, so once you put that in, your check engine light and your speed sensor light will go away. So, I'm just gonna keep drilling, and I'll be back, and once I'm done, I guess I'll just show you the uh, still drilling, and it still does not wanna go through yet. So, I still have to keep making the hole a wee bit bigger. I'll be back, see ya in a minute. So I'm not even gonna lie, I kinda got carried away and forgot to show you guys, but right now I'm just bowing everything down. This is gonna be a little loose, and so I got I mean, I might just be back. I made the hole, it went through. So, no more over here wires, nothing of that shit. Um, so, it goes on the top over here, and I connected it with the OEM clip over here in the hole. Then it goes this way, then you're gonna have to curve it a little bit for whenever you sit the fender, it doesn't hit. And then I just zip tied it right here if it could stay. It doesn't really move, so uh, and it won't be in the way. Then I just put some tight, some tape right here, electric tape. Then it connects over here. I made this hole 
just in case for later on once I go lower and if I could just move this clip move it up top here and then I'll move this more it'll be in here I'll try to tuck it in here next time if I go once I go lower but this is how it is right now it's gonna be sitting in there so right now I'm gonna go test it grab the fender So that's how it is over there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be right there, just sitting. It's not in the way of the fender or nothing. So it's a perfect spot. And then let me let me put a bolt real quick. Hold up. And then if you look under, it's right over there. Let's see. Right there, you can see it's not in the way of the fender. It's not touching the fender. Literally good in the right spot. So you can, that's what I did to if you guys are going low or lower. I'm trying to get this bra to the ground or just take this shit out sooner or later. But right now I'm just gonna bow everything up and that's it. And that's on my 2006 Hyundai Tiburon Coupe or whatever you wanna call it. I'll be back once I'm done.